Hey you guys, it's Ruby, back again with your Las Vegas news and updates. But this is not just any update. Today, we're doing what's new in Las Vegas for 2024. I'm gonna be covering the entire year. All the new buildings, construction, restaurants, shows. There is so much happening in Vegas right now. Before I get started, if you are new here, hi, my name is Ruby. I do Las Vegas content, so if you're planning a trip or just love the city of Las Vegas, be sure to subscribe. It's free for you to do, and it helps my channel to grow. The Strip is nearly unrecognizable. There is so much new. For starters, the MSG sphere is here, and wow, has it added to the Las Vegas skyline. It is truly a stunning piece of architecture. Inside, currently, they're having shows here by U2, as well as the Postcard from Earth show. There are some headliners and announced such as Fish, who will be coming and doing a residency, and rumors of Harry Styles potentially doing a residency as well. Dana White of the UFC has also blocked out the sphere to do a UFC event here in 2024. This is truly a modern marvel and a place you guys should absolutely check out if you're coming to Las Vegas soon. Project 63 did open on the Las Vegas Strip right between the Cosmopolitan and the Crystal Shops. This is a new area full of shopping and dining, including Ocean Prime, a new steak and seafood restaurant and the Arte Museum, which is an interactive exhibit. And coming soon, we have the Boulevard. This will take the place of the Hawaiian Marketplace and be new, fine, high-end shopping and dining. They are currently working on construction on this. It should be done this year. Over at the Flamingo, we have new restaurants, Havana Cuban Restaurant, a new Gordon Ramsay Burger, Pinkies, the new Vanderpump Lounge, and a new Splash Bar. These restaurants are all to be coming soon, except for Splash Bar, which is now open. So much is new at Paris as well. The Versailles Tower is going to be the new tower that was formerly the Jubilee Tower over at Bally's. They're taking it over, they're adding balconies to these rooms and making them suites. They are also planning to build a skywalk to that tower to make it easier to walk over to Paris from there. Vanderpump Paris actually opened this year as well as a Nobu, Bobby's Burgers, and the Martha Stewart Restaurant. The Monte Cristo Cigar Bar just opened this previous month, and Sherry Rooftop replaced Chateau. They've also built a brand new sports book, so if you have not been to Paris in the last year, it's basically a brand new property. We reported last year in 2023 that the Mirage was sold to Hard Rock and is going to be completely renovated. As of right now, it is still the Mirage and operating as Mirage. We can expect them to be closing it sometime this year. The volcano will be no more. It's going to be torn down and a guitar is going to take its place. Rumbar did just open over at Mirage as well and should be staying once they do the renovation. Currently, there is free parking for residents and they are now doing Unity rewards at Mirage and they are tier matching, so go check that out. Over at Mandalay Bay, Swingers Golf Course has been announced, a huge mini golf area with carts that drive by with cocktails Tales, it's 21 and up only. Oriel, the restaurant closed and is now retro by Baltagio. Lupo has closed and it is now going to be replaced by Kerama by Wolfgang Puck. And Flanker Kitchen and Bar opened. This is a sports book. All of these have been added in anticipation for the Super Bowl. Mandalay Bay is going to be absolutely the place to stay as it is walkable to the arena. The Cosmopolitan is now MGM. They have bought this property. They have yet to switch over the rewards at the time that I am reporting this. They did say February of 2024. My assumption would be after the Super Bowl. They have also opened a new restaurant, LPM. This is a French Riviera style restaurant. Opium will be closing for good starting New Year's Day. I don't know if they're going to be expanding the restaurant, but sad to see a great show go. Over at Bellagio, they did do all of their rooms. They have been freshly renovated. They look amazing. They have also opened the Vault, a very high-end secret lounge. And the Lily Bar is closed and is going to be turned into a Bruno Mars jazz bar. So this is going to be a great fun concept right on the Bellagio casino floor. A bunch of changes to Aria this year. Cathedral opened. We did check this out. It was high-end dining in a very pretty atmosphere. The Proper Eats Food Hall has opened a bunch of fast casual options for you to grab and go at Aria. A new speakeasy opened in Proper Eats Food Hall again with some high-end very swanky cocktails and they opened a brand new high limit room, which looks like the inside of a spaceship. Also important to note that a walkway was constructed. It will now take you from Vidara to Bellagio to Cosmopolitan, all inside without even having to leave any of these casinos. 
The horseshoe is of course all brand new. This was formerly Bally's. They will be having a Game of Thrones exhibit. We reported on this last year and it is still not here yet, but it says coming soon. The big sports book at Bally's was replaced with a giant arcade. They added Jack Binion's Steakhouse, Guy Fieri's Flavor Town, which was delicious. They've done new carpet, a casino remodel, a poker room. The lock and key lounge is on the downstairs space with its own little secret speak easy. And out front of the horseshoe, we have all new building happening in the Grand Bazaar shops. Old Red is in the process of being built. This one is going to be a big honky tonk bar with three levels and Bottled Blonde, a beer garden and pizzeria is coming soon. Bourbon Parade opened and then promptly closed and My Asia, which was new inside Horseshoe, did close as well. Over at the Wynn, the Wynn rooms were very recently renovated and they are now going to be working on the Encore Tower. However, we've heard they are pushing back that renovation until after after the Super Bowl. Awakening opened to mixed reviews inside the win. Cafe El Teatro opened a much needed fast casual spot. I really like the pretzels here and the cookies. David Blaine will be coming to the win this year. He is moving his residency from over at Resorts World. The win is charging for parking now. It is free for the first three hours. After that, they are charging. Over at Caesars, a ton of new construction has happened. They have a brand new front entrance and added a lobby bar. The table games area got a refresh. Peter Luger's has opened inside of Caesars. This is a New York steakhouse staple. As did Stanton Social Prime, a 20s bougie lounge. There were talks of tearing down the rotunda for F1, and we still haven't heard whether that is going to be happening. That is that little building out front. In the food court, they added a chicken guy. They've also opened Brasserie B. And residencies for Garth Brooks and Adele are still returning. In the forum shops, what's new? Electric Playhouse, an interactive exhibit. Planet Hollywood Restaurant closed. And Zatinia, a new restaurant by Jose Andres, is coming soon. At the link, we have a new announced disco show that will be coming. And the casino and lounge areas have been redesigned. They have added to the casino floor, taken away from their sports book, and they're currently still working on some construction. At the MGM Grand, the West Tower got a huge refresh. The rooms look brand new, and they are now going to be renovating their standard rooms. They closed level up at MGM Grand, but they will be adding a voodoo donut. Harrah's looks like an all-new property as well. Gordon Ramsay Kitchen opened here in the buffet space. They built a brand new high limit room. The Port Cochet is being remodeled. They opened a high-end bar called The Lounge for swanky cocktails. Winnie and Buck, the beloved statue are gone and high prov a new show has come to their theater over at Lux or play playground has been added to the second floor this is going to be a family-friendly place during the day and at night an adults only playground with cocktails Westgate is debuting several new themed suites including a Christmas suite a Halloween suite and a cowboy suite New York, New York had some major renovations. They have renovated all of the rooms. They look absolutely lovely. They have also worked on their food court on the second floor, added a Luke's lobster out front, and removed the water features underneath the Statue of Liberty out front. Excalibur also replaced all of their water with gravel, and they have a new center bar opening very soon right in the center of the casino. Over at the Venetian, they are also charging for parking now after the first three hours, and they have rumors of a big renovation happening soon to their casino, their pool area, and their rooms. Though, if I were to guess, it's going to happen after the Super Bowl. Juliet Cocktail Room did open. This replaced the Dorsey, and it is a high-end cocktail lounge with pianos. A new nightclub opened at Venetian called Voltaire, and the residency for Christina Aguilera begins January 1st. And in the Palazzo, they also opened a beautiful brand new high limit room. And over at Rio, we know that they have been bought out by Dreamscapes from Caesars and that they are working to make this place shine again. They have started work on the Ipanema Tower, doing a bunch of renovations to the rooms, and they're going to start the Masquerade Tower soon. In the buffet space, they have replaced it with the Canteen, a food hall that's going to have a bunch of different quick grab and go eats, as well as renovating the casino, fixing up the rewards club to make it very beneficial for gamblers and maybe bringing back the show in the sky. I sure hope so. 
The Planet Hollywood is renovating their Heart Bar right in the center of the casino. It is currently under construction. And over at the Miracle Mile, a lot has changed. Rosa Mexicano has replaced the PBR Rock Bar. We have not heard any update on if PBR Rock Bar will be returning in a new space. There is a new 3D show over by Blondie's in La Salsa Cantina. It's nothing to write home about, but it's free. And outside signage has changed. The outside of Miracle Mile is looking very fresh. The Waldorf Astoria has a brand new gorgeous lobby right on the first floor and we got the scoop that they are going to be renovating the entire property, adding new dining including a new steakhouse. In downtown news, there are big changes happening there too. Vegas is just brand new. Plaza has the new Pink Box Donuts, the brand new Carousel Bar, the BC Slots non-smoking slot area, and the new Oscars Patio. The Fremont Hotel built a brand new food hall, renovated all their rooms, added a new sports book, and renovated their full casino. It is looking very fresh. Binion's brought the million dollars back finally. It is free to take a picture with. Over at the El Cortez, they have also renovated the original 47 rooms and talks of tons of expansion coming soon. They're gonna be knocking out the Fiesta Room and adding a new bar and new areas to gamble. The Downtown Grand wanted to bring affordable Las Vegas back. You can go there to get a $2 hot dog and PBR combo, or you can order Joe's Special at the bar and get a shot and a beer for three bucks. This is still a place you can play dollar blackjack and $5 craps. And Main Street Station Downtown has also done renovations to their rooms. Over at M Resort Off Strip, they opened the most expensive buffet in Vegas at $100 at Anthony's, and there is about a six month waiting list on this place. There is also talks of a brand new tower happening at M Resort. They're gonna be expanding and adding more rooms. Over at Red Rock, everything is new. They have opened Lotus of Siam, an oyster bar, Naxos, Leoncito, and Rouge Room, a bougie new lounge. And they will soon be bringing Federal Donuts with chicken sandwiches. At Resorts World New, we have Juniors, which has replaced the cafe here, and you can now get American classics like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and cheesecake. A tiki bar opened. They do have parking fees now, unless you go and sign up for their absolutely free rewards program, in which case it is still free. TS Doe NZ have announced that they are leaving for the brand new Fountain Blue, but rumors have circulated that Britney Spears or Ariana Grande could be doing a residency. Along with the hotels that you know and love, there are new hotels that have opened this year and more to come in the next years. Durango opened here December 5th. This is an off-strip stations property. And Fountain Blue, the much-anticipated 20-year-in-the-making mega hotel, opening here on Strip December 13th. The Lexi Hotel also opened off Strip. This is the first cannabis-friendly hotel opening here in Las Vegas. The new Tillman Fertitta Hotel is announced and construction is taking place. This is going in the space of the Tex-Mex restaurant and the Travel Lodge right next to Planet Hollywood. Rumors have circulated that Casino Royale may be torn down and a new project may be taking its place. A rumor circulating that Wynn West may be built across the street from the Wynn. And developers have been looking at the fashion show mall to potentially build a hotel on that space. We are still waiting on news in regards to the Nuance Hotel, which is a hotel they're planning to build in the Stadium District. The Stadium District will be an all new space that they are planning to build around Allegiant Stadium to have a new walkable area for tourists and sports fans to enjoy. The Dream Hotel that we announced early in 2023 is now on hold while they gather more finances. They are hoping to continue restarting to build the Dream Hotel in 2024. This would be another hotel very close to Allegiant Stadium. Whataburger will be coming to the Strip right next to the Waldorf Astoria. We also are expecting a Portillo's, a Chicago staple to come soon. Lots of sports news. The Oakland A's will be building a stadium right on the Strip in the space of the Tropicana, which is set to be torn down relatively soon. The building of the stadium will take several years to build, so we can't expect that one in 2024. Remember all net that we reported on? That is definitely not going to be happening, but potentially a basketball team new or from another state could be coming to Vegas. What we do know is coming for sure is Super Bowl 2024 at Allegiant Stadium. This will be Las Vegas's first Super Bowl, and we absolutely cannot wait for it to be here. 
a lot will be happening in regards to the Super Bowl, but one thing we do know for sure, Paramount Mountain is going to be built over the top of the volcano at the Mirage. They're going to be showing Paramount shows and have a ski chalet here. I don't think we're going to see the volcano back in its glory maybe ever again, you guys. And F1, the very controversial race that took place on Las Vegas Strip this year will be returning for next year, right around the same time in November. Already, we have some positives. The room rates at hotels are significantly less than what they charged last year, so we're hoping to see even more people able to access and come and enjoy the race. Let's cover some huge concerts and residencies that are coming to Las Vegas in 2024. The Rolling Stones are proposed for May at Allegiant Stadium. When We Were Young concert is returning October 19th and 20th with Fall Out Boy and My Chemical Romance as headliners. Sick New World returning April 27th with System of the Down and Slipknot. EDC is also returning May 17th through the 19th. At the T-Mobile Arena, we have Tool, February 18th, Bad Bunny, February 23rd, Madonna, March 1st and 2nd, and July 3rd, we have Blink 182. It's just incredibly exciting to see all of these new things coming for 2024 and that the strip is just livelier than ever. Everybody comment below if you are coming to Las Vegas in 2024. When are you coming? Where are you staying? Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will catch you guys all in my next.